slam dancing, violent dancing, just a lot of people just call it moshing these days. It's just like a new form of moshing. With the windmills and the spin kicks and all that kind of gear. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. I used to do it when I was younger, but I used to get hurt too much, as you can see. I'm not very well built for that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I call it moshing because, like, moshing's just a, it's a um, release of energy, pretty much. Like, you, you got to look at what what kids kids jumping up and down, moshing, like crazy metalheads spinning their hair around and jumping around or whatever. It's all the same. Like kids swinging their arms, kicking whatever, whatever the hell. It's just for me, it's moshing. I don't want to, I don't want to call it anything else because that's pretty much it. It's all coming from the same place, as far as I'm concerned. There's, there's some, been some real stalwarts that have come through, you know, real solid bands that, that are just, you know, internationally, they're right there, you know, Psychoptics and that kind of vibe. And, you know, I saw the Furor over in um, Perth, they were, they were excellent. Um, the, the one thing that kind of perturbed me, and I'm sure a lot of other people, was the, the, that super division that came through when, when Hardcore decided that it wanted to sound like metal. You know, and that, that was that's difficult for me to swallow because I've produced a, a lot of those hardcore bands in the country, and um, it's it's metal to me. And they they borrow ninety percent of their sound from metal. It's only their fashion and a certain element of their arrangement, song arrangement that that changes the genre from metal to hardcore. I can appreciate that, but actually being um, actively against metal in the scene really, really hurt the Australian scene, I believe, for, for a period there. It's coming around now, but um, I remember handing out some flyers at a, at a prom queen show, outside prom queen show, and I'm handing out flyers and kids are going, oh, it's metal, mate, sorry, we don't do metal. I'm like, well, what the fuck do you think you're listening to in there, you know? Give me a break, you know? Because Prom Queen are an awesome fucking band. I reckon they're wicked. And they're metal as fuck. I don't give, I don't give a rat's ass what anyone says. That is metal. It's probably one of the better metal albums I've heard in Australia for a, a quite a while. You know, of, the, of, you know, that big sort of Swedish metal sound. It's, it's fucking awesome. And it is metal. And you ain't fooling me that it's hardcore. A long time ago, there was definitely, like, hardcore kids and metal kids, and they were like that at shows. Like, no one got along full stop, and there was fights and all that kind of stuff. And these days, people dress a little different from each other, but everyone seems to get along. And I never hear of metal bands, like, talking, talking shit on hardcore bands. I don't hear hardcore bands talking shit on metal bands. It just seems to be like... I don't know. Everyone's been taken aback by this giant, like, influx of... Uh, of mainstream uh, views pretty much like every, all of a sudden all eyes are on this kind of explosion of heavy music and it seems like everyone's been sucked into it and there's no kind of division anymore I mean to me musically there's not really a lot of difference I mean you can without the visuals there's bands that if you just heard them you'd be like oh that's the same sort of same shit different day but I mean, obviously, the whole community thing comes into it again, you know, hardcore. I mean, I, I don't know, I think the hardcore scene, a lot of it, you know, you've, you've got, like, sort of a, a look and sort of more of... It's, it's an ideological kind of, you know, sort of community. Like, there's a lot of different things there, whereas, I don't know, metal just seems to be more straight up. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's great, like, when sort of hardcore metal bands play together because mm. yeah musically they're so similar so you know it's uh, uh, it could only sort of make things stronger i suppose if everyone kind of you know got into everything got into had more of an open mind about sort of certain things so i think it's all really starting to come together i mean it's a fine line i mean <laughs> yeah a lot of hardcore bands 
we've discovered just sound exactly the same as death metal, just different image really. So the only thing different in most cases is t-shirt size. Yeah. Hardcore people want small t-shirts. Metalheads want bigger t-shirts. That's <laughs> it. You know. I think they stick stick to their groups. I think uh, you'll notice that a lot of hardcore hardcore uh, gigs are in metal, I guess. That uh, the fans will be definitely um, dressed a lot different. <laughs> uh, One thing that I, I really don't like about the so-called emo and hardcore bands, I guess, is that they they sort of think they're better than the metal bands when really they are just kind of plagiarising what metal has been doing, what metal is always doing. I mean, all these sub-genres of metal. It's all metal. It is all metal. It's all like, spawned from metal. Yeah. So it's just I think it tends to be more of a fashion with some people in in the hardcore scene. But there, there's decent hardcore bands out there, like. But some of them tend to take it a lot less seriously, I think, than others. I guess a lot of metal bands and stuff have breakdowns and stuff, and like two-step bits that all the hardcore kids can get into. Yeah. And uh, I don't know there's still like loads and loads of energy. I'll see in the hardcore stuff that the metal kids sort of appreciate and stuff. But yeah, I think it differs. It differs from person to person. There's like. I've met dudes with the longest metalist hair and beards and the baggiest shirts that have just loved Prong Queen and love Parkway Drive and other sort of hardcore bands come to hardcore shows all the time and I've also met the same kind of dudes in the metal scene that just hate the word hardcore and anything associated with it and the same goes for hardcore kids as well like there are a lot of people who will only go to a hardcore show and watch a hardcore band and that's all I'm not willing to open up but then there are people that have been around for ages and are just into everything. I've definitely seen that, man. Like it's, and then like then it's split. Like a lot of hardcore people don't like. I don't know if they don't like metal, but they, you don't see them at metal gigs really. You know, there's there's the metal fan, there's a the hardcore fan. But I think metal fans, I'm starting to see a lot more metal fans go to hardcore shows. But as far as hardcore kids going to um, metal shows, yeah. They're kind of a bit snobbish, I suppose. That should come to the dark side, is all I'm saying. <laughs>